Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Latoya and I would love to have you be a part of my ever-growing band of misfit toys. In today's video, I have a haul. I know it's been ages, but I haven't been impressed by a lot of the stuff that has been released lately and I'm trying to conserve money as well. So it's been a win-win really, but my birthday was February 10th. It passed some days ago and I purchased some stuff and I was gifted some stuff so I'm going to show you what I got. If you're interested then please keep watching. I'm going to start with skincare first because I only got a couple of things. I had been using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream along with the serum. I'd gotten samples of them and I was like oh my god these are amazing but now I'm just like no no not worth your money put it down so I needed new moisturizer and I usually use pharmacy but for I was having a sale for whatever reason so I decided to capitalize on it because why not I love belief and I've used them a lot in the past so I decided to go back with them I got the true cream aqua bomb this is 50 mils this is for during the daytime it is like a gel consistency. Let's see, I don't know if you can see that or not. I've been trying to use up the Charlotte Tilbury, but I think I'm going to give up on that. So I've been using it day and night, and I don't think that's the problem. I just think that I hy hyped it up in my mind, or the sample was just like, I don't know, a one off or something. So I got that for during the day, and as I said, it was on sale, and then I got the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I've used both of these in the past, by the way, so I know that I like them. Also, by, did I say Belief? I think it's Belief, Belief, I don't know. This is more creamy, thicker consistency. As you can see there. Yeah, so I really love these, and I cannot wait to put them in rotation starting tonight because that Charlotte Silbury, even though I have quite a bit left, it's dead to me at the moment. And then I decided to treat myself to a face mask because I'm running low on the ones I have. So these were on sale by Dr. Jart. I just got one and it's the Facial Barrier Mask Ceramidin. Ceramidin? I don't know. Just a cheap little face mask, which is always nice. Now let's get into the makeup. I have some stuff still coming in from Viseart and lashes from Tati Lashes that I'm really excited to try out, but they're not here yet. Maybe I'll pop them in at the end when they do come in so I won't be looking like this, if that's okay with you, because we know that it can be chaotic over here at the Latoya Show. I have not been here for ABH for the longest time because they have been super dry, super boring, and I'm just like, whatever. But I saw people raving about their new lip liners, and I love a good lip liner. I'm wearing one today, paired with a lipstick that I also have in the haul today. And I got these two lip liners right here. So a brown, I got these two lip liners right here. So a brown and like a cinnamon type color, like a lighter brown. Uh, we have parchment and malt. So parchment has like a red, tone to it kind of like terracotta and that's what I'm wearing I'm wearing parchment and then malt is a really deep brown which is good for people with darker skin those are the swatches right there I like the parchment I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about the malt I have to try it out on my lips it looks like it might be a little bit on the cool side for me personally but we'll see Continuing on with the lips, I got one of the lipsticks from um, the new range by Fenty. I don't even know what it's called. Hold. It's called the Fenty Icon, the fill, and then you have the case. I didn't like that you had to buy the case and the thing separately, but it's meant to be more eco-friendly, blah, blah. It just makes it more expensive in my opinion. And um, as of right now, this is the only one that I'm going to get. But I do like the component. I just feel like it could have come together and then... They could have sold these things, whatever, it doesn't matter. So this is what it looks like. Standard hectagonal, oct whatever. Standard geometric shape uh, for Fenty. You twist the bottom like this, it pops out. Ooh. 
and then you have lipstick. You have to be very careful to like turn it all the way down so that it doesn't get smushed in here and then click it back in. So I got the shade, let's see, what does it say? Pose Queen number five. And that's, that's the lipstick right there and I'm wearing it in combination with the ABH lip liner. So yeah, I really like that one. And I wanted to go for a neutral, not a red, because they're super creamy, super comfortable, but like I don't want a red that could potentially bleed. And I feel like that has the ability of doing that. So I'm not interested in that, even though I love a good red and Fenty makes a good red. I have their red in both the Stun Lip Paints and the Mademoiselle lipsticks. Actually, I have all of those, shockingly. I got the new foundation by Makeup Forever, the new HD Skin. Um, I got the shade 4N62 or Y505. That's the shade that I used to use all the time. And I was trying to look for it online, like the conversion, and they didn't have it there. But I accidentally picked it without even knowing, and it's perfect. Look at that. So this is what the... Um, bottle looks like it's so nice it's glass with this nude lid and it comes with a pump of course because i'm not trying to have a foundation that i need to pour out on my hand and get all over the place like i need it controlled so i'm wearing that as well today i just wanted to try it out to see what it was like and you'll have to wait for a review to see how i feel about it Ooh, also by Fenty, I got this small little spray. It's Baby What It Do Travel Size. It was on sale for $9. This said that this was $18 before, and I find that hard to believe. Like, $18 for this size? What? They don't even have the large size anymore, so maybe it's being, like, phased out or something. So I got the little one. Um, I got the Mini Biba by Natasha Denona. And I thought that is, was really not, I think this is really nice because it has some really great colors and just that one shimmer inside. So I can't wait to try this out. I have the large Biba and I love it. Did this crack? I hope not. So yeah, those are the shades. I'm super excited. Let's swatch a couple. Those are all five shades right there. Oh, look at that shimmer. The thing about the Biba palette is that the shades apply darker than they look. So I want to know if the mini Biba is like that as well. So we will see in time. I don't know. It's quite a bit of stuff here. And I have not been playing with makeup because I get home from work and I'm just like, ugh, I feel like a thumb. You know what I mean? Oh, I didn't know I got more skincare. I got Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 from The Ordinary. I ran out of mine completely and I hadn't had it for like, I don't know, two weeks now. So I got one. I never know what to do with The Ordinary because like, what does that mean? Is that the one that I usually use? I hope so because it says plus B5. And I'm like, what the hell? Is that like a vitamin? Whatever. So... We'll see. That's all good. I'm super excited. I got um, the Contour Stick, Face Trace Contour Stick by Westman Atelier. They came out with a new color, finally, because what was the last color that they said was dark and like universe, universal-ish? So that's what it looks like. Let's swatch. Hmm. I'm going to um, blend that in a little bit to kind of see, oh, what do we think of that? Oh, I think that's going to be nice. I think that is going to be nice. I got my birthday gift, more skincare by Tatcha. That's it right there. I think they had a Laura Mercier and some hair thing. I don't do my own hair like that, so I was like, no. Um, so we have a little packet of the liquid silk canvas. I haven't tried that one, but I do have the, um, this one, the solid. So I know that I like the formula. Then there is the dewy skin cream. Oh, that's nice. And the rice and the rice wash soft cream cleanser. I've not tried that before either. So 
I'm excited to try that out. I don't know, Sephora is about to get on up out of here because Fenty is going to be at Sephora in on March 7th, I think. There are whispers that Charlotte Tilbury are going there. NARS is already there, so it's looking kind of shaky for Sephora. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be rouge because the point system at Ulta, chef's kiss at Sephora straight trash so yeah i really won't have to be going to them for much if anything at all so cross his fingers oh yeah abh there urban decay is there ulta is stepping their game up now they're in target right yeah that's giving sephora a run for their money i picked up another foundation by lys um beauty the triple fix serum foundation the fact that it has turmeric and ashwagandha in it is kind of strange but i love their packaging i love the fact that it's affordable i got in the shade dg6 one fluid ounce per usual or 30 mils and then i got two of the new sticks by stick concealers by um bobby brown i got the skin correcting stick in very deep bisque and I love that they have the color on the outside. It is a stick concealer. I'm wearing this as well today. You see that? This color is perfect because usually I use a really bright orange and that is never good. So it's, you know, my foundation doesn't cover it properly, but this color right here is literally perfect. And then to cover up like, um, you know, dark spots um, as well with in combination with that, I got the regular concealer stick in the shade Walnut. The color's right there. And I'm wearing this as well. So I think this is for spot concealing for me. And if I would do a more natural look, I think that this would be great to just pop on. It matches my skin pretty well. Yeah. I like the consistency of these. They're like quite creamy and they have really good coverage. They're nice so far. Maybe I'll do like a full face of like, not first impressions, but showing you how they apply and stuff and keeping up with how I like them and give you kind of like a mini review since I'm wearing them right now. We are approaching the end of this situation. I got four eye bases. Ooh, I got four of the new paint bases by Colored Rain. This is what the packaging looks like. Oh, and a highlighter as well. The highlighter that I'm wearing today. Oh my God, beautiful. So I have the shades Wheat Rope desert sand and white so the tubes look like any other um bases that are out there on the market i've been trying to get away from buying from a certain british brand because i don't like the way that the owner moves so i'm glad that there's another black owned brand i also tried the juvia's place one but that one separates and it's always like peeing on me like i don't know it, the liquid comes out and then it mixes with the actual product and it's just not stable clearly so yeah i'm not with that let me swatch these for you so that you can see what they are giving so from top to bottom you have white rope wheat and desert sand so the first two are super thick and the other ones are kind of thin and liquidy i'm currently wearing this one right here that is wheat up uh, first it was the demons upstairs and now sirens fun times love that all right so i had a little bit of a issue with ordering these as a way of like i don't know remedying the um confusion colored rain um sent me As a way of remedying the situation, Colored Rain sent me this palette, which I previously purchased and I was not impressed with. So these are the shades right here. 
They look really nice. I bought these when these were individual shades that you put in, put in your own palette. And I also got the palette that came with it. I'm pretty sure these are the exact same shades. So we will see. They still feel quite dry, but... I really appreciated how customer service handled the situation. I flipped out a bit because my highlighter, first of all, I had ordered three of these. They gave me three white and I wouldn't have ordered three white. Um, my highlighter was broken. My neighbor is the devil. Her children, her acolytes slash spawns, obviously. Anyways, so I got their highlighter. I was really excited about that. I already have their bronzer, which is really nice. I got it in the shade selfie and that's what it looks like it is perfect for my complexion look at that glow it's like melted into my skin and it's perfect it's not too icy not too dark just right i really really like it i hope this camera isn't like wonky so editing me here i am back I'm in my robe because I'm comfy, so there's that. And it's hot as Hades, so I didn't want to dress up and all that. But you want to see my nails? Do you see them? I did them myself. Super proud. Um, yeah, I told you that I would be getting some stuff in, and I might, just might, pop in and show you what I got. So the Viseart palettes came in. There are four of them and they're identical in color scheme to big ones that they released just on a smaller scale. And I love that. I'd been wanting to get one of them in particular, like the pro, the grand pro ones, because they came out with three editions. I have two and I was going to get the third, which was basically this one right here, but more expanded. And I'm glad I waited because now they have a mini one and I don't have to have this massive one. So as I said, I got four of these Viseart Petites um, Mattes. Are they all mattes? Yes, Petites Mattes. So this is the Editorial Brights. Oh my God, so nice. And look at how they slide out. Like that. And they can like fit in your hand. It's like a little wallet. I love that. So... You open it up with this tab in the back and it comes with a little mirror and you can fold it and I think there's a way you can fold it so like you can, yeah, so like you can sit it or whatever, stand it up and they come all covered with this little piece of plastic. So this is the editorial brights. Let me turn down the lights, colors. I actually have the greens on my eyes today. Love, love that. I guess I'm going to have to insert swatches so editing me editing the editing this part i'm sorry uh all right so next we have you know what? hold on a second i recently like redid my makeup storage situation so i just wanted to look for these these are the bigger versions of the next three that i'm going to be showing you so we have the warms the dark mattes and the neutral, I think, down there. So these are them as well. So these are $80 each, and these are $40 each. They're the same things, just in smaller packaging. Do they have the same amount of colors? Let's see, 12, yeah, 12 and 12. Okay, cool, but the editorial one, that came from the Grand Pro 3. So that had like 18 shades or something like that. Anyways, let's go into the Petite Mattes Warm. <clears throat> That's it right there. The colors are on the back as well, just like, um, slides out, just like the bright one that we just saw. And this is the back if you're interested. This is what all of the backs of them look like. This is what that palette looks like. Love those colors. Put them next to each other, shall we? Let's show you them. Hold on. Can you see? Maybe I should swatch them against each other and see if it's the same. But I've had these bigger ones for ages. Anyways, we move on. So you have like the more rust and 
warm tones as it would suggest in this palette oh my god they're so fun next up we have the petite's matte dark and this is what the packaging looks like i use the dark green in this one to add some depth to my eye look these are just really rich dark colors that could like amp up the brights and add more definition and just complement the other palettes or stand on its own. Those are the two of them side by side or top and bottom. And then finally, we're gonna look at the Petite Matte Neutral. This is what it suggests. It's a neutral palette, not cool leaning, not warm leaning, nice and in between. This is the palette here. This is a true representation with no light of the colors. Let's have a look at them side by side or, or top and bottom. I suppose I will insert some swatches and yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the Viseart palettes. Aren't they the best? So if you've been wanting to try Viseart and it's been out of your budget, which is understandable because $80 a palette and having multiples is a lot, but I did not pay $80 for them. Obviously I got my makeup, well, maybe not obviously, but if you didn't know, I'm a makeup artist and I got my makeup artist discount. So not like over the top for me. And next I got... <gasps> I love when one of these pink bags show up at my house. Two days from the UK. Love that. So got my lashes from Tati Lashes. I tried some new ones. I didn't know that they were faux mink and I'm like low key, high key disappointed. Although I'm wearing a pair right now and I think that they are holding their own. My hair is a mess. You know, I don't know how to do hair guys. So I need to get my hair done thinking of faux locks so that I could forget about it. I don't have to worry about straight hairs and all the things. Anyway, so yeah, I am wearing a pair of them right now. These are the Miss Popular Russian Strip. Um, I have the attention span of a gnat. But yeah, they're all faux, faux mink. And I'm just like, they look nice. They look nice. So maybe they'll grow on me. Anywho, I decided to get some um, half ones because I really struggle at putting on lashes because my lashes are curly and unruly and fetus lashes. So it's a lot. It's a lot. So let me show you the styles I got. And that one is called Side Chick. And then we have another half one. I tried them to see what they were like. Um, side Hustle and Side Hustle and Side Chick. I'm going to show you up and down. Side Chick is on top side hustle is on the bottom side chick is more dramatic and side hustle is more subtle and looks like my actual lashes would look if i in fact had lashes but we all know that i don't but i digress then we have um wispy volume the russian strip these are really really nice super curly and they look like lash extensions which is crazy i also got miss popular russian strip and these are the ones that i'm wearing currently just really nice they're comfortable and they're super light which i appreciate because you know when you're wearing like regular minks the best feeling at the end of the night is taking them off because they can get heavy after a while i I now realize that I'm wearing these, that I'm just like, wow, what have I, I've been struggling maybe unnecessarily? I don't know. So maybe I might have to try my favorite styles from Tati Lashes in Faux Mink. Maybe, I'm not, I'm not making any promises. Also got one of my tried and trues, will re-upped on it. Um, the TL4s, which are minks because, you know, and I'm gonna get the TL3s as well. I miss those so yeah that's it for that oh one more thing one more thing for my Sephora I got this mini one swipe wonders lash and brow enhancing serum from grande lash so I'm gonna start trying this tonight that's it right there it's a lash serum and a brow serum 
So I was like, why not try it and see if it works? So yeah, um, I'm gonna go to the outro. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you have any of the things that I just hauled. If you're interested in any of the things now that you have seen them, would you like to see them all in a video of me like trying them all out so that you can see like what they actually look like on? And also, what else would you like to see? Um, this is the part of the video where I'm pretty sure a lot of you who this applies to knows what I'm going to say. You keep coming back, so you must love it here over here at the LaToya Show. It is literally $0.00 to subscribe. So just hit the subscribe button right down there. And while you're down there, click the notification bell. Make sure that it's on all so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.